quick video here on Facebook Insights. Um, they did do a major overhaul over the past couple of months on Insights, but now they're starting to fine tune things and present the information in a way that makes a, a little bit more sense to the average marketer. So I'll walk you through these tabs very quickly. The data is basically the same. The same information is there. It's just organized differently. Okay. So we have overview report and that just talks about an overview of our page. It's pretty straightforward. Our five most recent posts and how they're performing. We can see that right on the overview. If we go to likes, we look at people who have liked the page, right? Now on any of these reports, likes, reach, visits, posts, and people, you can manipulate and change the range that you're looking at. Okay, so you can quickly do that. Just a very quick visual check. Look at the likes, how you're accumulating them, what has changed, unlikes, organic likes, paid likes, net likes as well, and then where your likes have come from. So how are people liking your page? Are they liking your page directly on your page, from a suggestion, from posts by other people, and so forth. Okay, so that's the likes report. If we go to reach, this is talking about people seeing your content. All right. Again, you can pick a specific range here for all of these reports. And if we scroll down, we see two different types of reach, uh, organic and paid. And you can even do benchmarking in many of these reports. For example, if we click on organic reach, we can see that my average organic reach in this specific period is not as good as the previous period. You know, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's not better than the previous period. And we can look at paid as well. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we look at likes, comments, and shares. And this is in aggregate for the overall page. And if we scroll down, we see people hiding or reporting as spam or unlikes. So we can see these huge spikes here. And then we have total reach on the bottom, organic versus paid. If we scroll back up, we're going to look at visits now, what people are looking at. They're mainly going at the top to the timeline. Then there's a contest here, info tab, other pages, and so forth. So cut both custom tabs and your timeline. Other page activity. So these are mentions of your page or posts by others on your page. And then we have external refers. So these are the external websites that are sending traffic to this specific Facebook page. And I see that these are the top websites sending traffic to this page, which is great. And then we're going to go over to posts. So posts gets into the good stuff. This is talking about when your people are online, right? Which might be a good thing to know if you're going to be posting content on Facebook. You probably don't want to be posting at three in the morning. In this case, in this example, it's pretty even throughout the day. Okay, so we can vary the times that we're posting. We might want to check out specific days as well to see if there's one particular day that would be an outlier. For example, a Friday night might have a lot of people on Facebook at nighttime. Okay, and then we scroll down. Now, this is the good stuff. We're going to look at all the posts that we published. We can look at engagement rate, and I'm going to filter by likes, comments, and shares. That's what I always like to do because that's going to show me what the best content is right up at the top. Engagement rate by likes, comments, and shares. That's what you want to be looking at. Okay, And the reason why is because you want people to like, comment, and share your content in the end. That's the ultimate goal. This will show you essentially how good the content is. You know, A certain number of people see the content, and X percent of those people like, comment, or share it. So we can also see a number of other things like uh, people hiding the content, you know, marking as uh, hidden or spam or anything like that. There's a lot more information here, so I'm not going to spend too much time there. And then finally, we can look at people. Now, there are three groupings of people that you deal with on Facebook. Your fans, people who've liked your page, people reached, people who see your content, which would include some of your fans and some of their friends and some people that you might advertise to. And then the third one is people engaged. So these are people that actually like, comment, and share. This will give you all the information about them, where they're located, country, city, language, uh, the split between men and women, and even a comparison with the fans that you have on your page. And as before, you can export all the data and massage all these numbers any which way you please. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the new insights, okay? Talk to you soon.